and good evening everybody thank you very much for joining me today and right now is the first of a series of 10 live streams over the next three days this is for virtual manicon manicon is a uk board game convention that i've been going to for many years it's been running for like almost 40 years um and it's not happening this weekend because of the current global pandemic therefore virtual manicon is happening instead and uh, basically, yeah, I'm going to be at Virtual Manicon and I'm going to be live streaming games over the next three days. This is the first of them. I'm doing code names every day at six o'clock. So, yeah, thank you very much for joining me. If you are in the chat, just make sure it is going out live. I think it's going out live. Yes. Now, like the previous times I have streamed code names online, I'm not going to be watching the chat. The chat is not on screen and I'm not going to be looking at the chat because I don't want to be influenced by you telling me the answers. Uh, but I will look at the chat afterwards. So if you are watching this live, thank you very much for watching. Play along, talk amongst yourselves and try and work out what the clues are. Uh, this is Codenames Online. It is a freely available website um, that, C uh, that CGE, Check Games Edition, have created. It's not officially live yet, but it is working fine. So yeah, uh, this is something CGE have done. And when they announce it and make it live, it'll be live for everybody. But as I say, it is it is working at the moment. So let me go on over to discord we are using discord for the chat this weekend and if i undeafen the channel the character right i'm here <laughs> is everybody here all, yes. all the people are here all the people are here right fantastic so yes thank you very much for joining me we have three people per side uh on my team we have paul Olwood as the spy master and then just another paul so it's all the pauls on the blue team and then yeah. traitor paul yeah, all, oh. all the Pauls on the blue team, except for Traitor Paul, <laughs> who has deserted us <laughs> and gone over to the red team with Tom and Mark. Right, okay, now we've reset the game, so it is the blue team first. Are you ready for giving your clues? Trying. Okay. <laughs> uh, quick question for everybody who's in this game. Have you used this interface before? No. No. Right. Okay. So yeah. if you haven't used the interface before, uh, then obviously the spy masters will be typing in a word in the bottom and that will come up on screen, but they should obviously say it as well. When they've typed in their word and it is your team's go, all of the words are going to have a little icon on them with a yellow, a yellow icon with a hand in it. Don't click that. Okay. That means that you are actually selecting that word. Okay. okay. So what we should do is we should talk amongst it, uh, talk about it amongst ourselves, and then once we've made an agreement which word we're going to select, then somebody on the team. Oh, there you go. So yeah, Ooh. don't click, don't click so the yellow food, hand. Food for food for right. Okay, so food for off we go then. Right mm. on Valentine's Day, I often eat food. An ice cream mm. cone is food. Vampires are well known for not eating food. Um, <laughs> food gets judged at fates. Food is not a very good conductor. Are you going to leak every single word? <laughs> is, it, um, <laughs> is it too late for me to switch teams? <laughs> I, I hear mice like food, and I people in Notre Dame probably eat food. I feel like it's safe for us to go for hamburger as okay. the first one and get that one nailed so, in. Here, here's the thing, Paul. There is a way that you can select, or you, you can say, I think it's that word, without actually clicking on the word. So can you just click in the top left of the hamburger card, there you go so this is a way that you can play this game without using voice chat is that you can all click on what you think so i no is. longer have to speak to you <laughs> I don't have i'm to going on mute, mute. <laughs> <laughs> so uh interesting now i'm just looking at which ones of these could be food and that is the only obvious one I, I don't know whether food and drink uh, i was going to say the exact same thing yeah, you drink beer with food or well, sometimes. Yeah, ice cream cone. Uh, ooh, Dave, Notre Dame, Frost, Mouse, Drum. What are you thinking of drum? Tr drum chicken drum stick. Yeah. Mill. It's not, it's not a strong one. You mill flour. Flour yeah. turned us into bread. <laughs> Okay, but we're in agreement. We're going to go hamburger first. I think so. Okay, so what I do is I'm going to click on the little hand. It's oh, blue, oh, which means we can carry on. I think we both agree on beer. I think we do. So let's try beer. Yep. Okay. 
do people in wheelchairs eat food? I think they do. They do, but so do bowlers, judges, conductors, kids, Cleopatra. Okay. <laughs> What's the national anthem of food? Is the there national... one? <laughs> no? I don't think so. I'm tempted to go with ice cream cone, but it could be a... It's the only one that we've both put. Okay, let's go with that one. Okay, we're doing all right. Now, of course, like in normal code names, these might not have been the ones that our spymaster was thinking of. He's not allowed to say anything. We don't know. Right, do we want to risk another one, or should we, should we bank that one? I, I'm in inclined to, su to suggest that we don't have a strong thing, but we can leave it there. Yeah, I think so. We're going to end guessing, so we've got that one in the bank for later on. Okay, it's over to the red team. Scared child. Yes. <laughs> Air of scared child. child. Right then. Okay. So, yeah, um, I'm not going to look at the chat because the chat might be giving me answers. But yeah, okay. I, was, I was about to go looking to see if we could watch the chat, but I've realised that's possibly not a good idea. No. Uh, slightly cheaty, yeah. but well, they might be giving you wrong answers, of course. They, of yeah. course, yeah. I mean, they might be really. It might be good for you to watch the chat yeah. and get the wrong answer. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, like if if in the chat they say waterfall, I'll get really confused. I'll be like, oh, how is it? Where's waterfall? And I'll be like, looking for a secret waterfall somewhere. Okay, um, a war game three. Now is war game one word? Ooh. He said it as one word. Okay, don't forget yeah. to type it in, Paul. Oh yeah, I forgot. Does about that, that. <laughs> that mean Paul? Whatever Paul Allwood says as one word is one word, as long as he says it all together in one word. <laughs> okay, Paul, you didn't select the number. Oh. Yeah. oh. So what you've actually done is you've actually, yeah. He said war game zero. You, that, that's, I think, what you've said. <laughs> oh, but we can still go with just clicking yeah, yeah, a just, certain number and just exactly. do it. Yeah. yeah. So did you say war game three? I did. Okay. Okay. Well, one thing obviously springs to mind, right, Tom? Battle, is that Yes. Right? Yeah. I, I think, think also model, model as well. Yeah. Yeah, those two seem most obvious. I... Helmet is also... That was another one I was thinking. Relevant. Um... I mean, medic could be loose, could be, but not. that's not a thing that's in all of them yeah i'd say that's probably less likely yes hell not i would go I with think, over I, I think battle and model are two that i'm confident must be should we say so battle we first should, yeah battle's got to be first i think all right so shall i click that one okay yeah click that okay, okay. and model we're agreed on yeah and then I st yeah, I Could still think sorts. helmet is by next. I think so. Oh. The only other thing I think um. of is drum for like a war march, and I don't think that actually happens in war games. I think that war, but not war. Yeah, game. I'm trying to think. That there's one of the old. I can't remember what it's called now, but you know, one of the really old games that turns up in charity shops quite often, where there is quite a prominent military drummer on the cover, but that was probably not. As much of an obvious connection. You're doing yeah. a campaign. Um, if anybody knows the game that Tommy's talking about in the chat, let us know. I, I, yeah. I, I, do, I do, weirdly. Right, okay. <laughs> it's, it, the game's called Conductor. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, I think you're com confusing with the Vampire War game. I think it's actually that one. Okay. I, 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 think, uh, I, conduct, I think you're con confusing Conductor with Buff. <laughs> Which is not a war game. That well, isn't a war game. <laughs> uh, so it's not, it's, it's think... not a war game until Tom makes a move that costs me four points, and then I, and then I want to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm, I think I'd be happy with going for helmet. Yeah, I think so. I have just noticed day and thought about D Day and gone slightly off his there, but I, I think I still think helmet is better than than that it's a more so. direct link yeah um yeah let's let's go for it let's do it 
Okay. Oh, yes. Oh. Uh, excellent. Those may or may not have been the right answers. They may or may not have been the right answers. <laughs> so you're going to end uh, the guessing there? Yeah. Okay. Random yes. Um, yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Off we go. So a strong start from both teams. Three apiece. Hmm. Especially as we don't know if they were the right three. No, exactly. They're probably completely the wrong three. The very first time he ever played this, my brother-in-law, or future brother-in-law, as of about a month's time, uh, had never played this game before, and he, he was like, oh, I'm not really sure. Okay, I'll go with Kitchen Six. <laughs> and my, my sister proceeded to name all six. Right. <laughs> and there were none of them on there, at least four of them. I was like, how have you got that from Kitchen? Right. Yeah. And yeah, I've never seen before or since anyone even do a five, let alone a six. <laughs> I have seen a couple of fives, but they rarely work. I would yeah. love, I'd love to see someone do a grand slam and do all the clues in one clue. <laughs> that would drop the mic and walk away. Yeah. That's everything I'm, right. everything I'm looking at, I'm suddenly seeing a, 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 an extra one that's on the other side. Yeah, <laughs> I have, works. however, I have, however, seen two people fail to get a one to win. Oh, I've only seen it once. And I, I, I was that person. <laughs> As in guessing it or giving it? I was guessing it. The clue I, I was given was a very good clue if you'd heard of a specific phrase. Uh, and I hadn't heard of the specific phrase. And now I know exactly what the Uncanny Valley is, but I'd never heard it before. Yeah, we have one, I think. Someone needed to get, needed to get um, ca cow. And they said buffalo or something like uh, something like that. They said buffalo and they needed to get cow. Yeah, but yeah. mozzarella was up there as well. Right. So we went mozzarella and it was like, no, it's a cow. I was like, oh. Why didn't you say moo or <laughs> yeah. milk or something? Right. How are we doing, Paul? Have we got a clue? We yeah. have. Juliet 3. She was a well-known troll. <laughs> So, Juliet. Was, I've, I've not read The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Was there a character called Juliet in that? I'm being serious for a second. I, I, know, I don't know. Very <laughs> unbecoming of me. Um, she was a child, wasn't it? They thought Romeo and Juliet are supposed to be about 13 or 14. Okay, yeah. But again, it's not strong. Juliet. Juliet. Um, I mean, is there another meaning for Juliet? Uh, it's J in the international date language. It is. Judge How relevant that is. Julia. Judge Julie. Judge is it Judge Juliet? No, no, it's, it's Judge, Judge Judy. Judy. <sighs> is Juliet a code word you'd use to call a medic? There are three <laughs> that are obviously... I, I wonder whether Romeo and Juliet is clearly a book, so it's written in ink. <laughs> I think you'll find Juliet's an amazing bowler. It's not really covered. It, that's in the uh, sequel to Romeo and Juliet. Oh, right. Uh, Juliet, <laughs> Romeo and Juliet, the second innings. Yeah, yeah. The, the, she, she actually she fakes the whole thing and goes yeah. off and becomes a world class bowler. She, yeah. yeah. In fact, Romeo was her rival. He was really, really good at bowling. It's the tagline Juliet declares her love. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are we going with Valentine first? <laughs> I think so, yes. Right, okay. Now, what's it not? It's not... I'm closest to... I'm going to even put that I'm tempted by ink because it's a book. Um, Mouse, no. It's Cross definitely mouse. not wheelchair. Not wheelchair. It's not not mill. Undertaker, because they're both dead at the end. Yeah, Spoilers. That's, that's the other one I did Spoilers, think. sorry, I should have said. <laughs> Spoilers, unbelievable. Can't believe you're spoiling all these modern <laughs> classics. I know. Um, so that's a possibility. <laughs> what, what did we still have one of from the last one? Food. Food. Also, Romeo and Juliet, is it set in France? I think I, the, the Montagues and the Capulets sound Italian to me. Yeah, okay. I mean, not that I want to help you, but. <laughs> and Romeo sounds like Rome. It must be. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't argue with that. 
Um, in February, Juliet, no, is, could actually. Juliet be a link to July? Genu genuine question. It could, because I think the Roman name, the July's... Oh, I'm no, only thinking in terms of the day, but I think that's far too loose. That's a bit, yeah. Yeah, it's too tenuous. Okay. I'm not convinced... I think by July the... is named after Julius Caesar, isn't it? That's it, yeah. I yeah, mean, the, the, there's a song, Romeo and Juliet, by Dire Straits. I wouldn't call it an anthem. No, but... you, might, you might not. <laughs> I'm, I'm not confident with any of these, but we don't just want to have one, do we? Not really. <sighs> Shall we go yeah. Kid? What do you think about oh, Kid? See, the, what, the reason I'm tempted towards Undertaker, I cannot think that, that, that they would have given a clue of Juliet knowing she dies with with undertaker there right if it isn't does okay. that make sense yeah because if it was just valentine it would have been something like rose or yeah whatever okay so undertaker then yeah nice okay do we want to have the third or do we want to look for a food oh by the way if you've not used this interface before if you click on one of the words that's already been covered over it will reveal it so that you can actually see the word that was underneath. Right, okay. So I, that's quite useful. Now, if I was trying to get you to say Undertaker and Valentine, wouldn't you say something like Massacre? So the thing that puts it being about Romeo and Juliet in a book is the ink. Or Kid, I think either of those are valid. Mm. It, Romeo and Juliet is definitely a book, right? It is. So, is ink a bit stronger because people wouldn't try and give you a link to a book if ink was there? If it, just, I, I'm, I'm just thinking in terms of what's safe. Nothing. I don't. Oh. Getting I, a third, third one puts a lot of pressure on them. It does. And you can have edible ink. It's very rare. <laughs> it's true. You can also. I was thinking in terms of food. You can have frosting as a food. Okay, I'm leaning towards ink, so if you're happy with ink, if it's wrong, yeah. I'll blame you. I mean, no, I'm not at all happy with being the blamed. There you go. What have you just done? I am. I literally said I'm not happy with, with, with you doing that. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> but I mean, in many ways, we, I'm glad that we sat here and chatted at length about how foolish it would be just put, <laughs> to say Juliet if ink was, was on their team. We've definitely made our teammates sound wonderful. <laughs> Sorry, Paul. Yeah, thank, thanks, right. guys. <laughs> it is worth pointing out that it wasn't actually a book. Oh. It was a play. It, it was a play. Yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was one of those plays that he wrote in blood, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he yeah. didn't write it in a book, he wrote it on a computer. That's right, yeah. he wrote 45% of his plays in blood, 50% in ink, and then the remaining 5% he wrote uh, 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 the remains of a banana he found. Yeah. <laughs> And not just any blood, it was cow's blood as well. Yeah, sometimes. Uh, should have yeah. given the word buffalo. Yeah. Right then, over to the red team. Who's got the advantage? No, we're all east, almost square, aren't we? You say they've got the advantage, they've also got Paul. So, swing <laughs> around about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got the advantage because it's four apiece, but it's your go. Uh, yeah. yeah, true. But they've only got one poll to our three polls. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My, my track record is is not bad on this, actually. But I think it might come a bit unstuck, because I don't like these clues. Don't forget to select the number this time. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I mean, if we do lose, I'm just saying I will be pulling that card out. Oh, yeah, but he didn't select a number, so that was technically cheating. Yeah. <laughs> but just... I will feed back, because it shouldn't actually let you do yeah. it without selecting a number. I mean, all of this free playtesting. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, I am really struggling to get more than one. <laughs> Don't think I'd rather have yours than mine. I would appreciate more than one if possible. Yeah, I know you would. I I know what I'm trying to link. I just can't think of the word that makes it. Isn't that the whole game, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. It, it specifically doesn't doesn't do the assassin is the problem. There's something I'm trying to say, but but the assassin is a risk. Well, that sounds like a I... no, no, not really. Not really. <laughs> not too much away. 
<laughs> I'm not giving anything away. Yeah, he's, he's just clearly. I mean, your chat, the chat will decide this, but he clearly gave the clue that it, I don't want you to say the assassin. Verging <laughs> <laughs> on cheating. That's a strategy tip, not cheating. <laughs> okay, um, let's go with him to H Y M N. Write it. Don't forget to put it in. Yeah. Him. Right. Yeah. Well, Anthem seems like the obvious one. Agreed. Remember, I can do this, can't I? Um, my my inclination is to go is to say conductor as the other option. It's one of those but, ones where it doesn't seem like a great link, but within the context, wait, well, it's, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a really obvious link to me because. When I play hymns, I play them with a conductor, but to most oh, okay. people, hymns would just be an organist and a congregation, and they, mm. they wouldn't be conducted. So I'm not sure whether that just seems obvious to me because of what I do. But well, then maybe Paul is deliberately doing that because he knows who's on his team. No, that's good you said that, because I, I mean... I actually went to the same place with thinking mm. conductor just because of the music link, and I don't yeah. see anything else that's a clearer link than that. Um, um, but it's good that you're actually saying there is a stronger link there. Yeah, I, certainly from a, a brass band point of view, him and conductor are, are well linked. Um, I'm just wondering if there are any any of those words there that are in the titles of well-known hymns. Um, that's all on you. I've got no idea. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, we, generally with hymns, the words and the music have different titles, and I know the the music titles. Yeah, Mister Grogan, which... what's your favourite hymn? I think my mine, favorite... mine would have to be Deo, Deo. <laughs> <laughs> my favourite hymn. Vampires come and Cleopatra wants to go home. That one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, should we go for Anthem? I think so. Because that seems like a a sort of fairly safe thing. I am happy with that, if you want to click it. Okay. Let's do that. Go. And then, what else is plausible? Uh, yeah. It's obviously. I yeah, I can't see anything there that that fits in the title of a well-known hymn. I'm sure there must be a hymn somewhere with the word "day" in the title, um, but I can't. I can't think of a sort of an obvious one. So I think, I think conductor is my preferred option of what's left. I'm happy with that because the only other links I can make kind of involve several steps of association, which I think is yeah, conductor's a better yeah. choice. And I, and I guess the the other question is, I, do we want to go for something? I, my inclination is that we probably do want to go for getting two answers because otherwise they push ahead and we're unlikely to get three on the next turn so i've we... just whispered something to my teammate uh, we don't want to be two turns oh i didn't even know that I, you, you could whisper I've, well i've sent you a message on messenger <laughs> <laughs> um what, what do you reckon to that strategy wise mark do you think I think I agree with you. I think it's sure. it's worth the small amount of risk, really. I can't believe you'd call him that. I know. <laughs> so, <laughs> shall I press conductor? Yeah. I don't agree with that strategy. Oh, no! <laughs> you are a <was> sweating there. 
God, hey, I, could, I, I, I could see the other link that Paul, <laughs> oh, that Paul yeah. was meaning. I could see why. It's come up red, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hymns in a cathedral. That's, That's yeah. what I was thinking. Logical, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. hymns, church, yes. cathedral, Notre Dame. Who the That's hell knows that conductors are used to do hymns? That's the whole point of him to avoid, <laughs> avoid <laughs> conductor. Tom well, does. Tom's got some obscure piece of information that no one else knows. Yeah, but you know what Tom does, right? Yeah. I do, but I don't know because I mean, just knowing what he does, I don't know that the, the hymns in Tom's oh. world have conductors. I assumed that hymn was music in a church with no conductor. Right. <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing; it, it usually is. But brass bands play hymns all the time. Mm. Uh, <laughs> when you first put it, Paul, I, I I immediately jumped for anthem and conductor. And I, I know what I know what the answers are. I was thinking <laughs> anthem and conductor. Why has he put that when he's when he's clearly the the traitor? And then it took me a while to spot Notre Dame, even though I could yeah. see where it was. Yeah. So what are about they, food? Was that drum? Yeah, Notre Dame's really obvious. It I was. Seen it yeah. it yeah, was actually, it's right next to it. It's right next to it. Yeah. Oh. yeah. It was actually mouse. I was. I don't. I don't. It's just because it's meat, sort of thing. I was just thinking of that, and it was medic. Was Julia. And what did he did say? I don't know. If there is a close link. You know, a nurse being called the Juliet, sort of thing. Or whatever. It was just for some reason I, I linked okay. it with medic. I, I, at the back of my head, had that sort of. I, I wonder if a nurse used to be a Juliet. I don't know where I've got that from, but something says to me it was a. It was like a word used for nursing and stuff, but I didn't think of it strong enough to to, to pursue it. Right, yeah. I'm just checking the chat messages to see what uh, what people had. Um, God save the Dairy Queen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, food fight could have been battle. Uh, no, that was war game. Yeah. Um, I, I, thought drum, I thought drum was a good one. Anyway, even though I hadn't got it, if you'd have said drum for drumstick, I thought, oh, yeah, that works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, right, so they were thinking Cleopatra. I think that was maybe for Juliet. Um, and yeah, Italy, Verona is Romeo and Juliet. Uh, yeah, so Russ is saying, why would massacre be for Valentine's? But yeah, Valentine's Day massacre. Um, and yeah, they were talking about Notre Dame for him as well. So yeah, should have got that. There we go. I, I couldn't, I couldn't, and, and, and you were going, oh, the strategy needs to be to do more, and I'm thinking, well, no, no just stall, and I'll give you a zero <laughs> next time for a conductor. I, oh, I, think, yeah. I think we should draw specific attention to Fred's comment. I think that's a pretty good, what's the difference between COVID-19 and Romeo and Juliet? One's a coronavirus, the other's a corona crisis. I think that's quite nice. good. That's uh, nice, good, Fred. Good. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Cool. Right. Okay. So we're done. It is 6.30, which is perfect because I had ordered food at 6.30 from downstairs. So yeah. How did you order food at 6.30? I, I thought, I thought I'll be done with this by 6.30 because I'm busy again from seven. So, um, okay. yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not busy until eight. Age of Steam at eight. Well, there you go then. So yeah. yeah, I mean, the website is there. If anybody wants to play it, it's codenames.game. That's it. Just go to that website. And as I say, it is in beta at the moment, but it, it works absolutely fine. So, thank you very much to everybody for joining me. That was fun. Uh, I'm going to be back at eight o'clock tonight, so in an hour and a half from now, with a live stream of Macau, or should I say Amsterdam, to give it its new name. No, we're playing. We're playing Macau. We're playing the original game Macau. Um, that will be happening at eight o'clock tonight. So, in an hour and a half time on this channel, I will see you there. Uh, thank you to everybody for playing. No Thanks, worries. Paul. Thanks. Thanks for the game, Paul. And I I'll will... try. I'll try and do better on Sunday. Okay. <laughs> I will. Uh, I will... <laughs> it wasn't your I'll speak issue. to you all later on. All right. Cheers, Paul. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Right then. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Gaming Rules is proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.